So anyway, it's about the Transformer. <laughs> 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 that, uh, Autobots yeah. Assemble Fan out You know I, I never watched that series and I'm glad that I didn't I actually think I just mixed up Two major Yes you, uh, yes, you did you mixed up you mixed up Transformers and Avengers and Yeah I, there we go And then I made a fan out joke because That doesn't I, I, make sense to you guys Because that's right, right. The, the Avengers aren't those Those green things that live in the sewer <laughs> No, no, you think of the Smurfs. Oh, yeah. I forgot. The fucking Smurfs. I miss the Smurfs, if I'm being honest. Have you watched any Smurf stuff recently? Uh, no, not out. recently. I'm talking about the cartoon from whenever the fuck it was made. I watched it in the 90s. No, no, no and that is what I'm talking about. Wasn't there oh, a Smurf a... movie by James Cameron? I don't know. There've been several Wait, new ones where they've been animated. where they've been animated, which are crap. And then there are the older the Smurf movies, which are also kind of crap. Oh no, the older Smurf movies and TV show they 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 sucked. They sucked out loud. But it's just that's nostalgia, what I mean. You know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They they sucked hard. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about BJU. Yeah, Blowjob University. <laughs> Blo here at Blowjob University, we got... <laughs> I'm not even sure where in the world it is. Uh, it's in Greensville, Greensville, Greenville, South Carolina. Oh. There was another university that was in question, which is hilariously called Oral Roberts University. Oh, I know who Oral Roberts is. I got the two schools confused because I thought BJU is where you get oral. Ha! <laughs> Sex joke, man. I stole the joke from Aaron Robert, whatever. Specifically, a blowjob joke. A blow yes. joke. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so both of these uh, universities uh, are like uh, Christian schools. Like this, there's, there's, they're super, super Christian. That's why it literally has life and faith. Also, um. As late as I think 2007 or 8, um, this university got in trouble um, for having for being sort of against interracial uh, dating at the at the place. No shit. And they were like, really came out and gave like what appears to be a really half-assed apology. <laughs> like, oh no, how awful that you found out. So yeah, they've. They're, they seem nice. They have a boring logo. I don't yeah, know. If any other university logo would be any more interesting. Yeah. At, least, at, at least. least. You know the one where I am? That's just, just like literally just uh, three lines. True. Well, I'm very, I'm well kind of it's, three, it's three lines and then the name. Yeah. Yeah. But at least, like. That's minimalistic. That looks cool. This, this, this is this looks like someone tried to do minimalism, but didn't get the concept, and so made it like half minimalist and half not. Like they knew the word minimalism in its definition, but they didn't know how to carry yeah. it out in actual practice. I don't know yeah. why I'm focusing so much on the um, on the logo. Well, I have a, well, I have well, a question about their best about their insignia. Hmm? Okay. Can anybody tell? Okay, so the bottom, the bottom fourth, I guess you would say. So we got the cross, makes sense. The lamp, okay, eternal life, yada yada. The Bible, right on. What the fuck is that monstrosity down at the bottom? Is it that, a lion? Is that, it a bear? Is, I'm that pretty sure is that a bear. I'm, I'm, I have some knowledge about this, and I'm pretty sure that that's your mom. <laughs> spot, that, that, spot on. That, 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 is, got it. that is a bear. bear. Logo. That is a bear. The you have. If you if you were if you were really in on the joke, you could have said that that was my dad because then you could both say a gay joke, and well, that's all I got. <laughs> it, it's okay. A... So, what do we want to check <laughs> out first? Uh, dude, I don't know. I'm super curious about admissions. Like, I want to know what what like. Oh, I don't do you like. Have... Do you have to be? Uh... A graduate from high school? Like, is this one of those universities you can just go to? 
I'm, I'm more, pretty sure that uh, I'm more curious if they like have um if they have like religious um <laughs> they, I'm they probably have religious though. requirements and I also wouldn't be surprised if they you know don't that... like uh people of certain ethnicities <laughs> people that aren't I mean he 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 got the biggest medal do you think they did that on purpose? No. Look, we love minorities. Here's a this guy, guy that looks possibly this guy, Asian. This guy won won, um, won some kind of ho horse competition. He won he best in show. show. He he won his uh, he got his PhD in truthology. <laughs> and they gave it to a ginger, somebody with no oh, soul. Oh, 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 let's see. <laughs> they had to hmm. address it on their website. Students of any co race, color, age, sex, nationality, or ethnic origin, protected disability or veteran status. Notice that so far we haven't seen anything about religious. Are, <laughs> are admitted to all uh, to all the rights, privileges, and activities generally accor accorded or made available to students at BJ University. Let's just, call, let's just call it BJU for the entire time, okay? Because it sounds hilarious. The university does not discriminate uh, on the basis of race, color, age, sex, nationality, or uh, national... Uh, Wait, technology. color? Race and color? Well, I mean... I mean, I guess, like, theoretically, like, theoretically you could have people of the same race that are... Well, theoretically, you do have people on the, of, of the same, like... You could have a situation where we have two black people. Yes, both of them are black, but one is like a darker shade. Or one of them suffers from albinism. Well, that would fall under the protected disability. But still, like if we're if we're gonna go if we're gonna talk about differences, we might as well just go to the extreme with it, right? Yes. Notice, yes, as the chat has pointed out, there's nothing about sexuality in there. There's oh no yeah, and there's nothing about religion, like. Like yeah, sure, sure. We'll accept the the co the color the color and and all the the foreigners, but they better not be gay Muslims. I, I could imagine about that uh, metaphysics university. They mm -hmm. had exactly the same statement. Mm -hmm. Like not in terms of wording, but in terms of content. And we also noticed yeah. that the, that religion and sexuality were missing in yes. that list. <clears throat> I could just imagine like a TV spot for them being like. Welcome to Greenville, South Carolina's BJ University. Uh, now get on your are you knees. Black? Are you black? Are you black? Come on down. Are you Asian? Come on down. If you're homosexual, stay the fuck away from us, all right? The rest get down on your knees. And also <laughs> <The rest. laughs> Get down on get, my knees. Get, and get on your knees and, and get on your knees and and pray and you will receive the you get you will receive the body of the Lord. <laughs> Or you could just sing all the Faith Plus One songs about Jesus. One time, two times, three times my Savior. Yeah, I love South Park. <laughs> right, you, right. How, how are you a homeschool graduate? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't, you could be a homeschool wait, graduate. Yeah. Wait, what? Do they mean graduate from high school? No, they meant from homeschool. I assume that if you're homeschooled in the end, you can take a test, which is kind of equivalent to a high school. Yeah, uh, there's oh, okay. at the college at the college I went to, there was a lot of kids that would come in. Homeschool kids actually would take their uh, like graduating high school shit in the same room where we would take like makeup tests and stuff. Da -da 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 Welcome to Greenville, South Carolina. No, 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 no. I think we made the same joke before. <laughs> but uh, didn't didn't deliverance happen in like uh, somewhere in the swamps? So I'm gonna assume Florida. No, uh, if... swamps usually Mississippi or Louisiana. <laughs> or or the think, south of Florida. I think it happened in Tennessee. Let's see, deliverance. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we complete each other's Georgia. sandwiches. Oh, hey, I four of the men bound, bound, bound for, for a wilderness. Go on a, we, go, 
Go okay. on a weekend gonna... canoeing trip down a river in the Georgia backcountry where they face the worst nightmare. That's. I'm gonna need you to squeal like a piggy. That's such a that's such an understatement. All right, so I'm gonna step in real quick, and uh, even though no one probably even saw it, I'm gonna defend Pasta's love of banjos because I also and love ban- banjos. Banjos, it's a perfectly fine instrument. Yeah, dude, bluegrass and blackgrass yeah, are some I, of my favorite styles of music. Yeah, Mixing punk rock grass. with bluegrass. Well, blackgrass is punk rock and bluegrass. Yeah. Essentially, okay. it's country for people that are too cool to say they make country music. <laughs> it's edgy it, country. <laughs> yeah, it's an asinine name for people that were too afraid to just call themselves bluegrass. Mm. All right. Past yeah, the, the same the audience in the chat is not prejudiced to it, doesn't it? Pastor, you can't just say oink in the chat. You were told to squeal like a pig. Oinking is not and squealing. If, and if uh, you really like banjos, you're going to go listen to a guy named Noam Pakelmi. Is that with of an out, out of G? Uh, it's N O A M P I K E L N Y. Wait, hold on. Spell his first name again. Noam? N O A M. Noam. Like Noam Chomsky. Oh. I thought, for, when, uh, when you first said it, I thought you, you were spelled N O M E. Like, oh, no. as, as is the first name, is there just a Latin word for word? Like, for name? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's like, there's a, a town in Alaska called Nome. Yes. Which is like. He was, he was in a. Which is likely caused by. Was that. And that was. It likely was likely caused by the fact that originally it was someone who had put name question mark but had bad handwriting oh god yeah uh noam pakelny was in a band called the punch brothers nickel creek uh he's a he's a he's a damn fine <laughs> banjo player <laughs> oh faith and worship yeah we're gonna get down on our knees and start pleasing some jesus <laughs> Pleasing the I wanna, reason. I, I wanna I wanna feel his heavenly salvation all over my face. You know, Jesus is actually the name of the janitor. He's from Mexico. <laughs> they I hire Mexicans. I think that's pronounced Jesus. Hey, hey. How do how do you how do you greet the um how do you greet greet then <laughs> I greet God? What? How do you greet, greet a Greek god? I don't know. Hey, Zeus. What's, what's Greek for hello? Hey, Zeus. <laughs> okay, I get that one. That is indeed funny. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good, but so terrible at the same time. <laughs> it, it only works because of like the weird like setup you guys made for me. Otherwise, it would like make no sense. Oh my god, it's so dumb, but it's it's good. It plays on the Mexican pronunciation. Ah, oh, I want to start. At BJU, you'll find faith and worship woven into every part of the student of your student experience. It probably you'll learn how I love how I love how big this next sentence is. You'll learn how everything from learning about ecosystems and biology as supposed to learning about on. ecosystems in to to singing and thanksgiving prayer services what they chose thanksgiving that's the that's the holiday (laughs) the holiday where most people go home (laughs) like what the fuck that's not the point the the point is that thanksgiving is not about it's not technically or technically it's not a religious it's more of a historical thing yeah, it's not really an event in the yeah. top of your country. But uh, the, the sentence without their hilarious interjection is, you'll learn how everything points to God and his worthiness of all praise. Now, uh, I don't know how they're going to find how God in his in his worthiness of all praise in ecosystems. When you learn remember, about remember, remember, Smelly, the entire fabric of reality is beginner Spanish. <laughs> no no it, but it's not the ecosystem oh it is not the ecosystem in itself it's not the ecosystem in itself that points to god and his worthiness of all praise it's the it's learning the about itself. it's yeah oh, go ahead. 
It's not the ecosystem itself. It's the learning about it <laughs> that points. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, your thing is better because I was gonna say how everything they learn about the ecosystem points to God, but you're saying just learning about it points to God. Gotcha. That's so much. That's better what they're what writing. <laughs> like, dude, that is that is what it sounds like they're saying. Apparently, Thanksgiving services are a thing. Dude, yeah, and why did they pick Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is like the one holiday that I think Americans should just, we should just do away with that. We should just, I mean, we're praising the slaughter of thousands of people. And because Thanksgiving is. didn't lead to a peaceful proposition between two different groups of people. But it, but... It turned into a bloodbath. So smelly. Like the important part was that you were thankful. <laughs> oh yeah, I I'm so thankful for the land and everything else yeah, that see. they stole from my ancestors. Do you remember that that summer camp Thanksgiving play from that Adams Family movie? No. No. Okay. That, I, that I don't remember here. Adams Family movies. <laughs> I don't really remember about lot of me. No. Don't you know what I remember them. about the Adams Family movies? Christina Ricci. And <laughs> that's it. That's where my remembrance of those movies ends, is uh, Christina Ricci. Christopher Lloyd and Angelica Houston, I think. Well, yeah, I love both of them a whole lot. And actually, Angelica Houston is one of the reasons why the movie... Um... Oh, hey, that's my phone. Sorry about that. Um... Why are people texting me? Well, uh, I Chuck, have friends. Really Angelica Houston was in the movie version of Chuck. How did what did we arrive on last time? It's Polanyik. Polanyik. We know who you mean. Anyway, the movie version of Choke had Angelica Houston in it, and it, and she was so good in that movie. Here's a fun fact: Did you know that she bur burned her um, uh, Matisha Adams costume afterwards? Really? Yeah. For, because is it because she never wanted to do it again? Yeah, some, it's something like that. I can't remember the exact reason, but it is something like that. Who played Gomez? In in the movies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the movies. At Royal Julia, I think. I don't remember. see. I do remember that dude's acting being really good, but 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 again, the only thing I really remember, like as a kid, seeing those movies, was like, oh my god, Christina Ricci is so fucking hot. You know, you know, they're really, like... You know, I was a kid when I saw those movies, yeah, you know? but, you know, they're, um, the, the, like, the two, the two, like, adult, like, the parents in the, uh, Adam's family, their relationship is, like, that is, like, relationship goals, if you think about it. Oh, they're, my God, yes. They're, they're really, like, they're obviously so in love with each other, and they're, up, like, it's the, like, least, least least toxic relationship in, in any movie <laughs> they're just like there and just and they're and they, they seem to be like truly equals yeah throughout the whole film like they treat each other like i don't know human beings yeah it's, it's a really like it's so weird when we're praising a, a, a well they're fake they're a fake couple let's just go ahead and get that out there but we're praising a fake couple for treating each other like humans yeah like that's it's a sad point in history man <laughs> Ironically, like humans, even though it's kind of borderline with some of them. <laughs> no, okay, no. okay, fair enough. There's only I'm gonna one, take that. There's only one of them that isn't a human. But that <laughs> mop thing? No. Cousin it? it? No, Fing. Yeah. Fing is not a human. He's he's just a hand. He's only part of a human. Yeah. But isn't cousin it, is cousin wait is cousin it a, a a an alien or just somebody covered in hair? He's just. I think he's, he's just a. Yeah. He's just the hell do I know? Dude, that shit was ambiguous as hell. They never really landed on anything, so far as I remember. For all I know, he's a Muppet. Well, he possibly was. I mean, look at how the damn thing moved. He always a had a, has, a, so has a, also a weird crossover that I'm very looking forward to. Yeah, you know what? You always had a hand up his ass. <laughs> Everybody needs to go re go rewatch Beetlejuice. It's an amazing movie. It's great. I'm just gonna say that. It's one of my favorite movies ever. We have we have drifted so far. 
Yeah, but it's okay because I can already tell that we're about to start talking about something that's truly absurd. So we needed to we needed to buffer it a little bit with yeah. something light and upbeat. <laughs> so uh, I already talked. Somebody else needs to. Yeah, my turn. Yes, it is. Through Chapel, the entire university is challenged to know, love, and serve God with all that we are. That sounds okay. really dirty. <laughs> We meet to hear messages from President Steve Pet Petit? Pet Petit? Petit? I would say Petit. SP, faculty members and guest speakers. All right. I, I, I mean, that's about average for a, for a Christian university, right? I, I don't know. This is the first one I'm looking at. Well, there I've looked really into Christian a couple. Universities over here. It's, it's like oh, almost like... Yeah, not not over here. See, there's uh, says, there's one that advertises sitting, on YouTube sitting a lot. Sitting in a country with a with a state religion. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> that's, that's something you might want to get rid of. Look, look, look at me. I I I'm, I'm voting for all the positions who want to get rid of it. I was thinking about more drastic measures, you know, forks and. Uh, Watches. What about what about what about sporks, uh, sporks and 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 lighters? You know, I, I, I actually sporks wouldn't mind really a giant spork. Now that I think about it, the question is: what made out of wood or out of metal? Yeah, plastic. Oh. It's a spork. Yeah, it's got to be plastic. <laughs> sporks and lighters. <laughs> For when you're only sporks and bright flashlights. For when you're only sort of mad. Sporks for when you're, for when sporks you're a and, bit angry. Sporks, uh, sporks and, uh, and matches. For when you're only, like, kind of want... What, you only kind of want to, like, go um, lynch someone? When you only halfway want revolution, sporks <laughs> and matches. <laughs> when you're a little uneasy about revolution, sporks I know, and matches. I know what we're not... What, what the... <laughs> I now know what the, the edition of this episode is going to be. It's going to be sports and matches. <laughs> Charlie said, when you want to form a mob, but you don't want to put in the effort. <laughs> sports and matches. As we explore themes such as live worthy of the gospel and wisdom from above, our understanding of the truth of scripture is solidified. As we build our confidence in God and his word, we are also encouraged with practical ways we can obey Christ and serve others. I like, wait, practical ways that we can obey Christ. But the rules literally say what you're supposed to do. What, what practical ways do you need? Like, what does that mean? Uh, maybe they're like, maybe, maybe they kind of look at it like sort of in a, um, uh, what it, like a missionary way, like practical ways to worship God would be like going down to Mexico and mm. building houses for people let, as let, long let, as they convert let, to your faith. Oh. Smelly, I'm pretty sure that missionary is the only thing they, they approve of. <laughs> no, 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 they actually, in fact, um, I read out a little of them, of them because I was like, yeah, they're not going to say all the stupid shit on the website, um, necessarily. Um, no, they have, like, like very strict rules about what you can can do on campus. Like, like you're not supposed to have to do... I think the phrase, of one, of the, uh, the, one of the things on Wikipedia was, like, was, like, wrong, philo uh, incorrect philosophies and religions. And also, they had the phrase scatological realism, which is just beautiful. Wow. So no wrong philosophies and religions, which means that, you know, that entire goat sacrificing thing that won't work? <laughs> Apparently, so... bah means bah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I love how that ramble was two minutes, and we haven't even pointed out the fact that they've already rolled out their token black person. Yeah. 
I want to see. And, and, and okay, Geo's, so... Geo's um, American cousin is in the background. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, 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 which one? The, the one with the glasses and the, the goofy of... sweater. He, he... <laughs> I'm sorry, but he he kind of resembles you. That you know that is not a not a very unfair statement to make. Yeah. Okay. I've even gotten fatter since I moved to Denmark. No idea how that happened. It's because their food is good, maybe. No, yeah, but it's twice the price in Germany, and then I'll use my bicycle every day. So yeah, and, and the, the food probably in just and muscle German, mass increase, I guess. German, German, German food food is. I have a feeling German food is more unhealthy than Danish. Oh yeah, I 100% wouldn't doubt that. I don't know, that Nutafisk thing. Okay, that is not an actual thing. Nutafisk Nutif 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 is not an actual thing. Are you saying that you don't dip your fish in Nutella? No. I've no Why did my colleagues recommend me doing that? Then they're playing a, playing a prank on you. Yeah, they're pranking no, you, bro. That you just got pranked, prank. bro. Don't beat me I, up, it was just a prank. Is this a prank, I, I bro? Still, I still claim... Claim that uh, I invented the name Nutafisk. <laughs> <Nutifisk. laughs> <laughs> All right. So besides chapel, there are many other opportunities to gather with your fellow students to pr for prayer and worship. Isn't that the same thing? Yeah, it is. Like, isn't like well, not the same thing, but it's like part of worship is prayer. Yeah, it's like one begets the other. You know, it's sort of like. You know, the wagon follows, or the, yeah, the wagon follows the cart sort of thing. No, no. The wagon doesn't follow the cart. The, the wagon, wagon follows car, the, the car, 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 not the, not the, not the, I, I was going to, I was going to bring it up to the, the modern age and say car, but oh. I said cart. Oh, I thought you, oh, I thought you were going, <laughs> I'm no, dumb. I thought you were going, going for like the wag, wagon follows the horse, like the thing drawing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's what I meant. But I was going to say, you know, follows the car. But it, apparently I am Rich Evans, and I just completely said cart, knowing <laughs> I did not mean that. <laughs> so when I said I'm turning into Rich it's, Evans, I was not It's a folding shape. <laughs> Dude, I love, I love... I love watching those episodes just to find when they put the goofy joke on, on, you can always tell when it's Mike that edited yes. because there will be a thousand, a thousand rich Evans, like close ups. Uh, yes. Every, every, every speech with state will be pointing out. Be pointing mm -hmm. out. If you live in the resident residence halls, you will meet regularly in this discipleship. Okay, is we that need even to a word discipleship? Yeah, we need to see if that's a real word. <laughs> yeah, I'm hold, sorry. Hold on, that that can't be a discipleship. Yeah. Well, it's, it's <laughs> in, yeah. yeah, it is. It is it? actually. Uh... All right, hit F three and then hit Control V. <laughs> oh wait, you didn't copy paste. Yeah, it, I, right? I just uh... F three. You search. Oh, you search through Google with right. Yeah. Why? Why do you use F three? You can just use Control F. That's way more convenient. Well, F F three is the actual hotkey for it, man. Come on. Yeah, I use so Control F. <laughs> yeah, Control oh, F is easy. But I don't know. I don't. I'm I feel like you F three with the middle finger. Oh no! I can't reach reach the, the, <laughs> the I can't reach the seven seven and a half centimeters from F to F three. <laughs> Not saying that's exhausting. It's just faster to use uh, Control F because it, your, your hands are there anyway because of W A S T. Well, for me, like yeah. Well, considering I, I wasn't helper. using my hands, hands, I hadn't have, I didn't have my hands on the keyboard because I'm not writing anything or using the keyboard. Well, typically when my hands on the keyboard, I keep my fingers on home row or whatever. But like, I don't know. I'm just used to hitting F3 with my middle finger. For me, that just seems not just as natural as hitting Control F. You know. Um, well, I, think... I always, whenever I'm on my keyboard, I all on my computer, I always have my left hand on WASD. Oh, for shit. 
they have Second Timothy two two, and then ten verses later, they completely shit on women. <laughs> I think I think this discipleship movement is probably what we want. All right, so every, every lady, which I'm sure is probably like mm. what two or three. Uh, I want all. I want everyone who ends up watching this. If you are a woman, just open up the Google machine and type in Second Timothy two twelve. And if you're not offended, uh, there's no hope for you. Oh, what is the sign? Wait, 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 stop, stop. Uh, Smelly, do you want to? <laughs> I, I make a bet right now. I can make a joke at the moment that's way more offensive to women than Second Timothy Timothy two three. Or two twelve. Wanna bet? Uh, I, uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a, a a challenge, but sure, let's do it. Okay, so my joke is about the subject of abortion, right? Which for me is like a double-edged sword, because on one hand I really enjoy the idea of killing babies, but then on the other hand I don't think it's justifiable to give women a choice. <laughs> Jesus Christ! My life. You know. What the fuck? You know, I still feel like I still feel like the Bible is probably worse. Yeah, because that while I do uh, what you just said puts chills down my spine in well, a very bad All of way. those things are in the Bible. <laughs> those things are all in the Bible. That was literally my, yeah. my next sentence. So 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 the Bible is still worse. Yeah. Oh, what what he said was uh, he wants to kill babies and doesn't want to give women the choice. If we're going to bundle it into like a nutshell, but I, those I basically things inverted the argument. Basically, inverted the argument for and against abortions. Yeah. Because, literally, I think it's in Deuteronomy the you know bashing disobedient kids heads against the rocks and then there are several uh, instances of god ordering infants to be slaughtered and uh, and pregnant women oh yeah and then there, yeah. of course there is the abortion spell that literally well, requires and... god like it is just, 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 just like god is a component of that spell he is required for it to work isn't that the one about the poison basically that they drink yes. and then they miscarry Yes, then you can and give to it? your then you can give to your wife if you f you think she's cheated on you. Wow! And there's well, literally um, a story in the Bible where both infanticide and the lack of giving women any rights are literally in the same story. And I forget which story it is, them. but it, that's well, like yeah, ninety five percent of the of the new <laughs> of the old uh, the Old Testament. Well, just to get, well, actually it is in the Old Testament, but just to give one specific example, it's the <laughs> one where the, the the king is like, hey, uh, well, if you, who, who knows whose baby it is? I'm just going to cut oh, the baby in Solomon. half and let you have half. Yeah, yeah, yeah Solomon. Solomon. There we go. Uh, yeah, says, you know, I'll just uh, cut it in half. Jenna says, every attack spell is an abortion spell if you aim correctly. <laughs> I think that is true, but there is, in fact, there is somewhat made, and I hate hate that to, to tell you about this, but someone made for, I think, the original D&D, or maybe a d and d someone made the book of erotic fantasy. It is an awful book with even more awful pictures. It has things such as semen golems. It also has an abortion spell. Oh my god. And you know how in normal, like, D&D books or fantasy books, or any kind of that thing, you would have like a consist, like you have a drawing of things. Of, like, yeah. Here, they haven't, they don't have drawings. They just have photo, like really, really, really badly photoshopped pictures. Oh, God. <laughs> See, actually, if you want to perform an abortion in a game and you don't want to play a tabletop game, literally just play Earthbound. Because the final boss in the game is essentially just you giving a giant demon alien thing yeah. an abortion. Yeah. So okay, we and I'm I'm currently replaying the, that game. I forgot how much I loved it. We need to learn what the sidership is. I found a, a, a 
I found a, uh, a page called allaboutfollowingjesus.org. I don't think it's an organization, that's the name of it. If they, they should have the answer, and it looks like they do. So let's read. Just the first, like, couple paragraph here. Just to get that just... Here, I will, I'll start off. Discipleship is teaching biblical... Uh precepts sorry for a second couldn't think about that uh, uh while modeling and guiding others towards living righteously as followers of jesus christ this is a cynical whoa what oh this should be a cyclical yeah <laughs> process not cynical <laughs> i just wanted to insert cynical. <laughs> meaning once we are discipled we are disciple we uh we are to disciple others and so on that's not One cyclical that is not cyclical <laughs> No, it's not. I think they. Uh... That that is that is, that just means you like that you. The single call would mean that you like keep doing the same thing over and over again. The you same the process same thing in cycles. Yeah, yeah it's... but this is the cycle. The this is like this is more like a relay race. Actually, more like a pyramid scheme. But whatever. Mm. Oh yeah, that's actually the best way of putting it. Yes, yeah. thank yeah. you. It's like a fucking pyramid scheme. Anyway, so continuing on. Um, one of the most important. No, no, be... no. Actually, no. It's a demo ride, because it's it's um, it's a pyramid <laughs> that is inverted. It's a well. No, be, think about it. Think about it. The more people you get to become disciple, the closer they like all the accumulated holiness and like Christian dumbness. That happens with each layer brings them closer to heaven. So obviously it's upside down. Okay, fair enough. Uh, one of the most important characteristics of being a disciple, a student or a pupil, is to develop an intimate relationship with God through Christ rather than learning about him. Discipleship equips the Christian what? with God's word, <laughs> prayer, doctrine, worship, encourage, encouragement, and service. Service for what? <laughs> okay okay story. okay so basically it's just it's just like a, a nice name for being a fundamentalist christian yeah right yeah yeah it, it's basically just like jesus fangirling cool i wonder i there and then we've we know one thing for sure they're more rabid than btk fans <laughs> what or mm -hmm. BTS, whatever their fucking name is. BTK was serial I killer. BTK because of the serial yeah. killer. Yes, I know. I, I know. I knew what you meant, but, but now is, I made the same. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. But no, I, I know what BTK. you meant, but now I can't think of the. I can't think of the actual BTS. name. BTS. Me? I don't. Know. Because I I got kind of. Uh, there was like that whole thing on YouTube where everyone was talking about everyone, you know, all the fangirls of that shit. And I looked into it a little bit. It's pretty interesting. Those people are pretty rabid. When student leaders organize prayer and worship events for the student body, you just say students. You didn't have to say student body. That just sounds creepy. You can well, already use. But they use the word student, so they were, instead of saying, uh, you know, students, they wanted to be able to, like, differentiate the two statements. They were trying to make it sound less crammed, mm -hmm. you know? You can yes, volunteer to, to serve as a musician, as part of the setup crew, etc. Really, you can only think of two things, bef two things before you had to go to etc. Your society will, your society will hold weekly prayer meetings where you'll be able to share each other's <laughs> burdens and grow closer to christ you know what that sounds like that sounds like those those um those fucking scientology yes uh, uh, yeah sessions where you have to touch the meat the cans or whatever yeah the e -meter. talk about oh talk no about the things that have burdened you yeah they're um <laughs> sorry not e-meter that's what they call it the actual name for it is obviously ohm meter because that's what it fucking is it misses yeah, it's measuring the resistance in your hands you know what? I, I'd love to get one of those and turn it into an electroshocker. <laughs> and then give and it then back to them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they would oh check God. it. I honestly like don't repair. I don't think they would check it. No, they would probably just think it was a sign from LRH. 
oh my god, we're gonna push forward their agenda. Let's not do that. They'll they'll find a way to use it to their advantage. Oh, you got shocked by it? Oh, you're definitely the reincarnation of LRH. And then we have a new psychopath. Wait, do they? I don't think they believe in uh, in reincarnation. Do they? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, they do. Yeah, they're actually waiting for the second coming of LRH, bro. Oh. That's what that whole episode about in South Park was about when they try to make Stan the the new LRH. Oh. I'm pretty sure that uh, John Travolta is still in the closet. Well, Bo, <laughs> you do realize that the reason why both him and uh, Trump Cruz are members of Scientology to begin with is because Scientology believes that they can cure the gay. Like both of those people are in. I, the... Yeah, I, I know. I know. That's the joke. Yeah. See, one of my favorite one of my favorite Family Guy jokes is about Tom Cruise running away from his gay thoughts. <laughs> you can't catch me, gay thoughts. That's why he made a spectacle of himself whenever he was engaged. Does anybody else find it funny that he went on Oprah to talk about his engagement but didn't bring his fiance? <laughs> Who the fuck does that? And then he jumped on a couch like a buffoon. Well, he had he had to go on the couch for 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 the cameraman to be able to have both him and Oprah in the same shot. It's well, he also wanted to show the cameraman how great his abs were if they wanted to hook up after the show. That's <laughs> not the first the time that he ended up on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but usually it's a, it's a black leather couch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it was on the set of Ice White Shot, and we all know how that went. <laughs> okay, we were making two very different jokes. Fantastic <laughs> couch and an Ice White Shot. Well, I guess not that kind of go hand in not hand. Head in hand, no, no, more like penis in orifice. <laughs> orifice. Penis in orifice. Well, I want it to be neutral here. I was well. Orifice is neutral. It's yeah. it's that's not gender Some, specific. Sometimes it's the nose. Who knows? Like... <laughs> sometimes it's the nose. Who knows? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I am well too sober for this kind of talk, but I'm out of beer. There was I, uh, so. I just got more. So, in case everybody isn't aware, Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers used to be in a punk band called Fear before he was in Red Hot, and, and they had a that... song called Beer Run that was both stupid and amusing. And before that, he played a small role in The Big Lebowski. Hmm. Yeah, he did. Holy shit! Yeah, you're right. Wasn't yeah. he a ruffian? Like, wasn't he one of the... He was one of the nihilists. Yeah, yeah. I just remember him being a ruffian. I don't remember. I didn't remember the nihilist thing. I'm going to go ahead and... I need to rewatch that movie. That is a really good movie, though. It's super sad. I didn't expect that movie to take the sad turn that it did the first time I watched it. Really? He treats objects like women. Yeah, I didn't expect Donnie to die. <laughs> But, yeah, but no, that, that's kind of a Coen Brothers motif. They killed uh, Steve Buscemi in every single film they made until, mm -hmm. up until that point. In Fargo, they put him through a woodchopper. So what yeah. do you expect? Yeah. Yo, that is... A, holy shit. Yeah. Wait, you never Damn, noticed that's a that? <laughs> well, it's... It, I, uh, okay, now that you're pointing it out, yes. Uh, watching them and getting to that point on my own, no. Okay, I didn't. Nope. I didn't get, get to it on my own, but I knew it from like. That's fair. Like, you, it, yeah. Okay, that, that's fair. Yeah. Now that you say it, like I, I can yeah, see those it's, scenes it's in my those, head, and I'm like, oh my god. It's one it of those did, things where, like, in hindsight, it, like, oh, that actually makes perfect sense. It's 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 also why they tell Donnie to shut the fuck up all the time because in the last movie, Steve Buscemi was talking all the time. His character was written to be an absolute blabbermouth. Yeah. I actually those those two those, those like they're. There's like a continuous, like, you know, it's not like a cinematic universe, but it's like, there's like bleed through, like parallel dimension bleed through between those movies. Kind of. Damn, now I'm going to go watch both of those movies. Holy shit, dude. Do it. Uh, but They're first, first we have to, anyway. uh, first we have to learn about this, um, the student-led led mission advance. 
you will have ah. opportunities to learn more about what God is doing around the world. Nothing. <laughs> and well, let's see. So, so there's there's currently a pandemic going on. So with with about a million people dead. Yeah, uh, tornadoes, you know, plagues, earthquakes, uh, um, tsunamis, Oh, um, hey, 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 Snowy! Uh, hey, anal Snowy! Cancer. Is there... Yeah, I something. Is, is there... Isn't there something about to to happen in uh, in Texas? In Louisiana? Like your... Uh, it, rhymes with, it rhymes with hurricane. Yeah, yeah! Uh, it's happened in the... It's happened... It's something in the Gulf of Mexico. It, I think it rhymes with hurricane. Mm. And, uh, it's, uh, and, it's, and it's named something that rhymes with filter. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Thank you for that. Oh yeah! You, yeah. yeah! Hey guys, have you? Did you know that there there have been so many hurricanes as this year that they've run out of fucking letters in the alphabet to name them after? What? So now Wait, that's they're just the yes, Holy they've shit. switched to the Greek. That's the that's the. What you do when you run out of letters in the alphabet? You just switch to the Greek alphabet and just okay. That's, give that's up. pretty funny. <laughs> and just and give next, up. next we're gonna use the Hebrew alphabet just to switch it up a little bit and throw a zinger. <laughs> well, I, I give it give it about twenty five years, and you will probably have to. Yeah, they're gonna have to get pretty uh, creative. Wait, yeah, when is when is Delta gonna hit? Today or tomorrow? Uh yeah, it's... in the next couple of days. I actually have a friend that lives in Louisiana that was staying in Texas. Oh, uh, apparently it's also already on land. Yeah, it is. Uh, it looks like the eye just literally just hit uh Yeah, the, the worst the worst the was about yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, my nice. friend a friend of mine just just literally in the last couple of weeks had his house rebuilt like his uh his roof caved in like they had to rebuild his roof like he just had that done they just finished walling in the parts that were destroyed and now his house is like a foot oh. and a half in the deep water. I want to I want to show you something smelly there um micro don't turn my camera on on YouTube I I'm not but I'm I kind of have to switch over to be able to see camera. It. Like at, it, it's so yeah. I, I wanna teach I wanna teach Smelly a lesson and what it means to build a proper building. So uh, look, my roof is made out of concrete. Well, okay, <laughs> that's because that's because your roof is an old like that? office building. It's not an office building. It used to be a factory. Oh, okay. That that even just so, proves my pro point even more. You know, then then the Americans are wondering why every few years the the house gets blown away by a mid-sized tornado. Um, sorry, that your house wouldn't be able to fucking handle a tornado either. Well, like not an F5, but you know, at least the the roof wouldn't fly off with like slight winds. That's uh, that's a point that I can't argue. That's pretty true. I mean. At the root of that argument, it, it, what he's saying makes sense. I'm, I'm saying that if if you live in an area where there's hazards, which include strong winds, maybe you shouldn't build your house out of cardboard. I just read the next sentence, and it's so much worse. Even in your classes, you will be reminded <laughs> on your dependence on Christ as your professor opens each cl class period with prayer. Holy oh my god, that was shit. so fucking boring. It also means that each class is gonna be shorter. Like, like the effective time to actually learn about the thing is gonna be shorter, but like a couple of minutes each time. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But then the question is, how much do you learn anyway? <laughs> like, because I have the feeling yeah. that it's all, it's all just wasted time. So whether you waste it on, oh, for all I know, probably creationist shit or prayer itself it doesn't really make a difference. Local church. Oh my God. Getting involved in a local body of believers is vital to your growth in Christ, even as a, even at a Christian college. Wait, wait, I'm going to grow inside Christ. <laughs> I didn't think he, I didn't think he, he went, well, I guess he didn't went kind of way. I think Christ was probably pan, pan or bisexual. Remember, remember micro for Jesus to give you your love. You need to give him love back. No, no, but like, like, 
I'm I'm gonna say he was like he was probably I he was pro he was attracted to men in some way. He hung hung out with like twelve dudes all the time, and had had them wash his feet. There, there's no way Jesus wasn't gay. Oh my God! If I do, could make the same argument. Where are about all the guys in the city? I need my feet washed. I would love to go back and record Jesus. Just if he was a real person and he really. <laughs> I was about exists. to say, like, considering he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Muffin, are you cheating on me with Jesus? Oh God, I didn't need. I didn't oh, really didn't. You. I didn't really. I really didn't need to hear that coming from you. Nope, you already got it. That's in your ears forever. Oh God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh god! You can't take that back. Oh, oh god! Oh god! Are you trying right. to destroy my sex life? <laughs> <laughs> now every time I never like now I'm gonna constantly be thinking about you. <laughs> oh please don't! I am so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> you can read. You can continue reading. <laughs> in the oh my god, in the Greenville area, you'll find dozens of Bible-believing churches. From it's America, yes, me. of course. You, like that's true for any fucking. You can. That's that if, is if true. you if you place yourself like in the middle of nowhere in the U.S. and start walking in a direction, the first building you will in, you will encounter will ninety-five percent of the time be a church. Yeah, or invariably you'll come. That's the same <laughs> thing. Actually... Alright, oh, one so... of those uh, weapon stores. Again, same thing. Yeah, same by, thing. By the way, Smelly, did you hear about the fact that Florida apparently is getting a new flag? Mm. They wanted one that re represents their values more, so they had an online poll. What? The one that won was an, a picture of an alligator robbing a liquor store. <laughs> Oh, it's a it's the new boating MacBook vote face. Oh my God! Yes, please tell me that that's real. No, I just made okay. that up. Okay, uh... pasta. Please don't do that. I already ruined enough. Please don't carry my. Look when you have started. Life. If she does that to you for real, I owe you something major. I'll I'll, I'll Amazon anything that you want to try to escape that image. What's the most expensive thing on Amazon? <laughs> okay, I'll buy you anything you want with a hundred dollar limit. <laughs> <laughs> you want to like, hmm, do they sell cars on Amazon? <laughs> How many acres of land can I get on Amazon? <laughs> Okay, wait up. From from large to small, I like how they went from the biggest annotator like connotation of the size of the people to the the smallest one. I don't know why they didn't go small to large or whatever. Uh, their choice. It's not really. It's not grammatically incorrect. It just sits on the ears weird. Uh, that you can become part of. Yeah, cool. So though you're telling me that I live in America. That's essentially what. <laughs> yeah, that like, is. like like that you're is just, like, just America. Yeah. Look for a place where you'll where you'll hear God's word presented clearly and completely. Where oh, you'll have wait. opportunities to build relationships and and serve others. Hold on, how can you look for a place to hear God's words? Surely you would be listening out for whether or not God's words words are there. Yeah, yeah, but I think they're sort of like you I know, know if what your you church mean, that was a bad one. <laughs> if if there's a gay at your church, you need to leave it. Okay, that's what they're saying. If if uh. If your pastor teaches um, tolerance to, towards the sodomites and, and uh, mongrel races. If, if your pastor has ever at any point in his life bought condoms. Is your pastor a black lady? <laughs> Is your pastor a black? Just leave it at black. Because that's far more No, no, disgusting. no, no. The idea of like, I want to see like a really like, like stereotypical... Like sassy, like have you ever seen like? Uh, they're usually not the preacher, but like have you ever seen what it's like in? I'm assuming you have, like inside a black church. Yeah, dude, I went to one for a exactly. 
like the <laughs> like one of those Dude, if one ever, of the ladies if... in there as a preacher. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, honestly, if ever there were a style of church that could convert somebody to Christianity, I believe that if you sent somebody who had never heard of religion to a black congregation where they get up and they get wild, I 100% yeah. guarantee you that person would convert that day. Yeah, they at least have they, they at least have fun. Oh, it's not only fun, dude, it's like like honestly like I, as a kid i went to a lot of churches right and uh, there was like a bunch of pentecostal like i would literally just go to the one that was closest mm. at, for the most part so i religion. technically was part religion. of religion religion but only when it's convenient yep. just, just compare that just compare that to your standard uh, catholic uh, sunday school stuff if you're happy and you know it it's a sin if you're happy and you know it, it's a sin. Up and over. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, that's a sin. Oh shit, that, uh, Geo, you're right. That is kind of their way of no real Scotsmaning, uh, as opposed, you know, yeah. uh, in relation to what uh, Jelly said. That is a good point. Um, but yeah, dude, whenever I was a kid, I went to a black church for a co like a couple Sundays, and it was yeah. like I felt that shit. You know what I'm it's saying? Like, you, like you... they're having a fucking blast. It looks like. It looks like they're actually fucking worshiping something they love. Oh yeah, they, they make they make worshiping God seem fun. Like it's like it's a fucking party, and it's like you leave that place that's feeling that, like you oh my could God. do anything. That that's sort of like the normal weekdays. God goes to the like boring white like middle class church churches. Like that's that's what he does on the weekdays. That's the day day church. But on the weekends, he goes to the black churches. <laughs> When God wants to get lit like, AF, he yeah, goes exactly, to the black church. Exactly. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I imagine that's how the white people would advertise it to their congregation. And and when he, I, and I was, when we you know I was having a rap with Jesus and he told me when he gets lit AF, black churches on the weekends. Hey, hey, do you think do you think when like when everyone else would go to like, you know, like a like the football game or something, like he goes to mega churches? <laughs> Since this effect God's is on the 20 God's on the 10 <laughs> Touchdown God you know, The congregation's big and it keeps getting bigger And that's because Jesus Christ Is a uh, you know <laughs> Oh my god <sighs> I can't say that I didn't expect That to come around at some point You know I just realized like, Given the controversies with this place. Jesus would be terrible, would be a bad swimmer. Because, well, why? that that's not true. I'm pretty sure that that piece of wood will keep him afloat. No, okay, assuming, <laughs> assuming he's not allowed to, assuming he's not to, allowed to use any of his power, because walking on water is not actually swimming. But if he tries to swim, the water just goes through his hand. He gets less pr pr proportion. <laughs> he get like he's <laughs> yeah his 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 oars have holes in them. Yeah. He's this essentially in a boat something. with a hole. Check this god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I've seen that before. Uh, hold on. I think I can copy the link and put it in the chat. I can. There we go. Wherever God leads you, you can be encouraged by and give encouragement to brother and brothers and sisters in Christ. You know, unless God leads you away from the church. That's a that's a weird predicament to be in. Oh God, Bible conference. Oh, I think dude. It's my Speaking of mega churches, right? That's exactly what I was about to say. I mean. What what church looks like this and doesn't even have a proper organ? Just just saying. What do you, what, what do you mean? Look at all the pipes in the background. There's so that's many of pipes that's curtains. I know. I was gonna make a better joke and be like, well, look at all the women in the crowd. But... Ooh. <laughs> but I didn't want to go there because also, we're trying also, not to be douche. I think I f like I mean, you don't need an organ if you have a, like a really good surround system. Like they probably have. 
Like, they probably have something like survival, like a fucking IMAX theater in that thing. Oh, yeah. And everything's running off an iPod. Some guy's asleep in the sound booth because all he has to do is hit play <laughs> on an iPod. <laughs> And why is he still using an iPod? I just realized how outdated the thing I just said was. I didn't even realize that, but yeah, that is actually. <laughs> well, there's a and there's it's a nano. A it's a nano. <laughs> no, it's, it's a most... shuffle. It's a shuffle. He can't even see what it is. The shuffle was the most useless device ever. I've never oh, seen something as idiotic as a shuffle. No, the, no, it. no. Sorry, there's a more useless device than a shuffle. A broken shuffle. Damn, that's a good point. Hey, I'd, I'd even least. prefer to have a Zoom. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's that's that, an unfair comparison. That, that being no, that being said, I'm kind of a Microsoft fanboy, right? Yeah, I had a Windows say. phone at one point. <laughs> okay, that's got awkward <laughs> silence. Just, just says, says so, soon, what? soon is God's music, music device of choice. Yeah, I, I actually I liked I liked when uh Jill said watch out God leads you into a back alley. <laughs> watch out when God leads you into a back alley, excuse me. Uh Bible conference each spring semester. Oh, so only once a year? Wait, wait I, I think I, I, I thought it's it, my time to read. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Geo's turn. Sorry. Each spring semester though whole university takes a break from classes to enjoy several days of preaching, singing, and fellowshipping. Fellowshipping. Don't say fellowshipping. Guest speakers preach on a theme chosen by President Petit. So no, pe there's, there's Petit. Petit. As in fr the French word for small. Yeah, that's just Petit. Call. Petit is the female version of that. Eh, whatever. That's more um, that's funny. Or whatever. Yeah. Such as the sufficiency of Christ giving us a chance to refresh our spirits and redefine our priorities. Okay. Now, when you yes. want to refresh your spirits, um, usually you go to, to a liquor store to do that. <laughs> no, that, that, that <laughs> that's to get fresh that. spirits. That doesn't refresh the old ones. Okay, then you distill them again. Yeah. Yeah, but who wants to do that? That's also, I have, I have also, all this God worshiping to do. Doesn't doesn't make effort if you have a rotary evaporator. Okay, yeah, you know, I I know the I know that like the French bit C doesn't have the double T, but it's pronounced the same way. It's from the same root root um root word. And I think in this instance, given the way that Americans pronounce things incorrectly all the time, I'm gonna assume that the way that he says it and others around him is pet it, pet it, yeah, like pet it. No, it's pet tit. Well, it is pet tit. Yes, yeah. I know. But I, I had a friend in junior high whose last name was those letters, and he told people it was pet it. Like, pet, pet it. Yeah, that uh, inability to pronounce everything correct is really annoying. I mean, like, for I example, mean, why don't you call it the bibble like everybody else? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> call it my, the my, the bibble. Like the the last name I'm gonna get gonna get when I'm mar married, pastor is literally is literally like a corrupted version of a German word. So yeah. <laughs> wow. Wait, what? Can you repeat that? I had a, a network issue there. The, the the last name I get when I'm married, pastor, because we we're combining our last names. Um, well, my middle name and her last name. Um. It's literally a corruption of a German word, so. Okay. So yeah, the the like Americans like mispronouncing everything. Yeah, that 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 fits. If I ever get married, I hope it's to a girl with a really weird first name that makes her first name plus my last name sound like <laughs> weird. Like a fucking Eldritch, like like you're trying to summon some kind of Eldritch God. Like what? <laughs> what do you mean? Did, did like, if, ever... like whenever you name, like whenever your last name is Johnson and you name your kid John, so his name is John Johnson. I know. Did I ever tell the story when, when I, I know a guy who um... at my university for a number, and she was super angry at me, saying that quote, "We have names now." Wait, what? what? I get it. Yeah. And then uh, basically a few days later, I checked out what my name was by looking at the uh, at the mailbox. 
It looks like I won't be talking to Esther for a while. <laughs> Esther? Okay, you, you don't get it. I, I get it. I got it. He gets I, it. I, I... See, but I didn't hear the first part of that. See, I, um, I was... That when, when, I, when I asked her for a number, she was super angry at me and saying that, quote, we have names now. Oh, okay. It's 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 a Jew, Jew joke. No, I got it. Yeah. I totally got it. Yeah. You see, it's, it's, it's because in the concentration camp... Yeah, 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 we get it. <laughs> no, we got it. The bands with the numbers, they tattooed it on them. We get it. <laughs> They were branded. Understood. I I actually know a guy whose name is Son Son Sonson, which literally means Son is just a Danish name. It literally it literally means Son Son of Son. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Every part of that is ridiculous. And he's oh, not like shit like. At least in like in Iceland that would make sense. Because in Iceland in Iceland you don't just take your um your like your parents' last name. You're there literally, are no last names. Yeah, you don't have there, actual there last names. There are no last names, they're they're, they're called patriarchal names. So just your last name is basically your father's first name. Yeah, you are uh, you are either called the, something the your name son or 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 son. Um or uh, your name uh, God's here, which means daughter. Which okay. kind of similar like Wolf, son of Moog. Mm. So, so you're talking like, so your name would be like blank, son of blank, right? Yep, basically. Okay. Yeah. Kind of, but like, like in one word. Sense. But also, which also means there's a very like, there's a super restricted. Obviously, if you come like, if if I like someone like like. Say Geo moves to moves to Iceland, he obviously gets to keep his name. But yeah, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't get a, an Icelandic uh, passport if I wanted one. But um. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you were. Your dad's name? <laughs> well, then you can just use your mom's name. Okay, that was a that was an honest answer to what Jelly said. I was just it's I, it's I a good joke. Funny. I know it's a joke. <laughs> I should have known it's a joke. No, but like like there's a very limited number of names in Iceland that you could like legally name someone. It's not like in the US where you just name your kid pretty much anything. Yeah, like literally naming uh J K L M or J K M N. Do you know what that name is? No. J K M N. No. It's Noel. It. Okay. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it? Yeah. 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 Because it. it's the alphabet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 We get it. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, actually, uh, look look this up a while ago, and it turns out you don't get an Icelandic passport unless you actually change your name to their naming format. Wait. What do you mean? I, I would have to. I would have to change my name to Alexander Johannesson. That's not too bad. Wow. Yeah, actually, that that, that sounds like a, a strong name. That, like, That's a good name, actually. Yeah, it. yeah. Like if I if I if I was like the head of a company and they're like, okay, you're meeting with say your say that name again, Alexander what? Johannesson. Yeah, if they told me that, I, I would be kind of intimidated. It also, like, like, like Johannesson has a has a good uh, good like I like semi Icelandic feel to it. Like I can see it as a name. Yeah, it is a it is a nice name. Mm. It's not bad. So where did we get to? Uh, we're at each year. We also raise funds for a special project from renovating student spaces on campus to supporting church planters. Essentially, what they're saying is we have a money laundering situation <laughs> going on where we take hundreds of thousands of dollars in and only spend about five of it. Well, allegedly. They have an Instagram. Oh, I wonder what they're blasting Instagram with, you know? Taking pictures in, t in different Take. churches with their cappuccinos. I oh wanna, God, hold, today. hold on. Hold on. I want to see. I didn't even know, look at that. Wait, what? What? Okay, I don't want to be taught. Wait, undecided. That's okay. I love that their IT 
Many students begin college without knowing exactly what they want to do. So, so you're not alone. At B uh, BJU, uh, you'll have advisors uh, who can help you find the right program. Start taking core classes like English and Bible. <laughs> English and Bible? Not <laughs> Bible study, it's English and Bible. <laughs> While you try what out other courses that sound interesting to you. Then when you're ready, you can declare your major and still graduate. That, okay, I actually kind of like that. Yeah, uh, I will, I will, what like in the as... actual book is actuarial science? That's a good question. But uh, okay, we'll get to that in a moment. But like, I will point out like as much shit as we're giving them for the weird, like, like Bible overtly Christian fundamentalist shit. I like this. This is a good, like uh, the Bible class is stupid. But I like the like fact oh. that like you, you don't have to choose. Okay, never mind. Actuarial science. It just it, I just I, I guess when I saw actuarial, I, I I thought of a different thing. But it's actually a uh, discipline that assesses financial risk. Oh, oh, so it's basically actuarial. Uh, yeah. Can you go to C and check if they offer chemistry? Let's see. Oh, they do. Oh God! See if they offer, it's chemi see if it's chemistry, but it's chemistry BS. So yeah, it's chemistry BS, bro. We're here to you teach you guys chemistry. You do realize that I do have a bachelor yes, of science in chemistry as well, right? I have I have a a, 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 B, a, a BS in biology. I like it's a joke. <laughs> well, technically, I have a BS a BSc. Okay. Oh that my is the God! It's it's the. Okay. Do, do you notice what they're doing wrong there on that Yo, picture? On it, well, side? A, they're not wearing lab coats. Yep. B. Yeah, B. Okay, go ahead. B, they're not wearing any kind of gloves. You yeah, don't. That was mine. Usually you don't wear gloves, Micro. Really? Okay. That's a common uh, misconception. Can... You only wear yeah. it when you actually handle something super dangerous. Otherwise, um, you don't want to wear gloves because if you did I'm, this all day, I'm your, so... pores and your skin would be open all the time, I am so... which would expose you to more stuff. I am so damaged yeah. by the fact that I have to, like, I'm so used to, like, any time I walk into a lab, the first thing you do is put on gloves. <laughs> because if there's, like, your hands are basically there, like, basically capable of destroying any experiment. You want mycoplasma in, in your infection in your cell culture? Just touch him with your bare hands. Just like yeah, okay, but that's that's a different thing, right? This yes, is about... I know, but like I'm so damaged by it. That is like it's but there's, so there's another mistake they're missing here. Don't you see that? They Whatever built... the experiment they are running, they're not doing it in the fume hood. Well, okay, yeah. That's I mean, good. for all we know, it they're just pulling water into it. That's also, also a good. Point. Also, but I want, want to say that those clamps, the one with the with the red fingers for clamping, those are the best you can get. Hmm. That exact type. Hmm. Okay, so earlier we pointed out um, Geo's doppelganger. I want to say right now, because this is hilarious, I feel like if you took the two gentlemen that are being pictured in this very bad science demonstration... Yeah, yeah, you combine them two together, you, you end up with me. No, I was going to say, if you smush them together, you get micro. <laughs> no, hold on. Hold I on. was kidding. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Because they're two gingers. It was a joke. I'm not ginger. I'm blonde. You're not ginger. You're blonde. I know. It was a joke. No, hold, no. Wait a minute. I don't have hair. I'm a tiny blob of goo. <laughs> okay. That was good. You caught me way off guard. But <clears throat> neither one of those gentlemen looked like Micro. It was a joke. I mean, the the guy on the right kind of looks like like me when I was younger. With the, like from the jawline down, maybe that's, that's, that's it. That's not true, Micro. You look like that one rush, like that one actor who always plays the Russian bad guy. You know, you who know, I'm talking you know about. Who, who? Okay, fun fact. So back into like I don't know what it would have been like 2015-16. Um, back before I had a beard, my family went to um, the US and we for a while stayed in a place in Florida and the receptionists there those two ladies decided that I looked like Macaulay Culkin which, which is kind of correct but also really insulting because at that time 
his life was in the shitter and he was like on meth. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah, not see, untrue. You kinda... I do vaguely look like him, but it's You look like healthy Macaulay Culkin if he was a bit skinnier. Well, it looked like I look like you know I look like what he looks like now, but younger. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Like like healthier but a, a tad skinnier too. Like and I'm not saying like emaciated, but like but like it is not. Macaulay un- Culkin is relatively skinny. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, he's packed on a bit of weight now that he's actually healthy and like doing stuff. Yeah, well, that's why I said is doing fine. It's doing fine, guys. He's actually and he's actually a really seems like a really cool dude. You know what? We should bring a, a movie in the uh, Purge series. You know the Purge, yeah. where a guy played by Macaulay Culkin gets to defend his house during the Purge. Yeah, there was actually uh, a, a like a, a fucking a petition. What do they call that? Like the the, the online petitions or whatever yeah. to get Macaulay Culkin to do that. That would be fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I still like the so Macaulay Culkin has been on Red Letter Media, and I still like the a idea. Bunch. Uh, yeah, I still like it. one of the ideas for Home Alone they came up with on it, where it's like it's just him because he's an adult now, alone in like in his normal house and nothing happens. <laughs> it's just like him yeah, that would be the days. Although I think that video of him riding in the Uber, the the skit he made, that was pretty damn. Yeah. That was good. So okay, Gio, I feel like you should read this. Let's let's. Yeah. We can re- you read this and then we go to the biology uh, program and see this and take a look at that. Fair yeah, enough. And after that, whatever Smelly has ever studied, if if he has. Uh, uh, I've studied uh, IT and biology both and bailed on both of those degrees about halfway through. Well, okay. what whatever. you need to do then is bioinformatics. <laughs> All right. Okay. That is literally a combination of those two things. No, no, no. I know. I know. I was just trying to keep it concise so Gio could read because he sounded a little bit impatient. <laughs> BJU's chemistry program, you'll study the importance of chemistry in our modern world and learn how the elemental building blocks of matter interact. Okay, that's actually a fair statement. I feel like what? elemental building blocks of matter, that's physics, because the elemental building blocks of matter are quarks and proton and neutron. Like, that's not chemistry. Yeah, okay. Like technically, that's that's kind of fair to say, you know. Like, While you're a student, you you conduct laboratory work and produce professional grade reports about your research. You learn how to think like a scientist, so you can ta- tackle common industry problems, and you'll discover practical ways to use your skills to benefit others and bring glory to God. That's already a red flag, um, because there's, no, there's no or most most chemists don't want to go into the chemical industry. Yeah, like most of them want to stay in academia and yes. as working as actual laboratory researchers. Yes, I just and love obviously how obviously this glory thing is absolutely useless. Yeah, <laughs> what I love is the fact that there isn't, there isn't even a full stop in between. Like it, it's the same oh like it's the same overall <laughs> old sentence. <laughs> they put it all in one thought. Uh, I love that there's no way that you could just be doing chemistry because you love it. It's because you're trying to bring glory to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a point. All, like, all of God's glory is described by the SN2 reaction mechanism. I mean, I mean there are... Nice, nice. Um, there are people in chemists who go into industry, yeah, but you're right. Like, the majority of them stay in academia because that's where the actual interesting stuff is. Yeah, my my chemistry professor uh, was a research scientist, and then he left his job as a research scientist to do uh, some sort of chemical. Uh, he worked at a chemical fab uh, plant, essentially. Like they manufacture. You don't, you don't make chemicals from plants. No, no, no. A plant, as in a big building that is responsible. Thank, for thanks. Yes, items. that's the joke. Asshole. I know you're a douche. I hate hey, you. hey, hey! Do you know what you call what you call a? <laughs> you know another name for a proto- prototype plant? What? A seed. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I did yeah, not expect yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Slide whistle. That's not even my my own joke. I I like completely stole that. Uh, it's all good. But yeah, um, my chemistry professor left his job 
at that chemical plant because it was fucking boring. And then he went back to research for about 15 years and then he became a professor. Mm. I mean, then, I guess then he accidentally ex- exploded in his lab, which can sometimes happen. <laughs> and then he, he birthed three little girls with chemical X. I'm sorry, what? Powerpuff Girls joke. Oh. That's how... Okay, okay, hold on. He didn't give birth to them. He created them in the lab. Okay, whatever. No, what are you proposing? Fucking semantics of a goddamn cartoon. No, what you're proposing is like some kind of horror scenario where he... Where he... um, where he has to like birth like birth those three girls with those giant heads out of his fucking dick <laughs> or poop them poop them would be a lot funnier <laughs> I mean either way it's like no what was his name professor what <laughs> it's something like U- utonium or something like that it's something tonium yeah I'm like I'm literally been avoiding saying his name, but I can't because I can't remember it. I just remember that it was Chemical X and Bubbles and it was it was it was um it was Spice and everything nice and then uh, Chemical X and then they were born. Oh yeah, sure, Spice and, and yeah. everything nice. And then there's an episode. If I'm correct, there's an episode where they try to. They're so busy. Um, saving the city that they try to create a fourth one themselves and fuck up and create like a monstrosity yeah it's like that episode of uh, Aqua Teen when Shake makes the really deformed little Shake wait Aqua what you don't know what Aqua Teen Hunger Force is man no. Dude, that's like the best subversive like alt comedy show. Yeah, it, it's really good. It was on Adult Swim. It's about it's about a, a, a literally a meat wad, a thing of fries, and a giant milkshake that come to Earth to solve crimes. But then they abandon that entire story plot, and then it just becomes a. Sh- it's like the Seinfeld of cartoons. It makes no sense. It's a show about nothing. Yes. Okay. But it's fucking hilarious. There's You're an totally episode where they literally. <clears throat> there was an episode insane. where the 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 animators and the writing staff just wanted to see how many dicks they could get on screen. So there's an episode <laughs> with a thousand rainbow colored dicks in it for literally no reason other than they wanted to make an episode with a thousand rainbow dicks. <laughs> it's fucking glorious. Yeah, the episode makes no fucking sense. It's hilarious as hell, but it was literally all in service of filling a screen with rainbow-colored penises. Yes. That's how absurd the show is. It makes no fucking sense, but it's, it's so a, It's a fun show. Good. Like, don't... It's great. Like, I would say, like, the same with Seinfeld. Like, don't sit down and try and binge it because you will, like, real... Your brain will realize how... Like repetitive, like not repetitive is the wrong word, but like because enough, like it's a show about nothing and nothing really happens. You get like your brain gets tired of it. Like it's a show, like you watch like a couple of episodes at the time. Yeah, like literally, I was watching Seinfeld the other day. I think like pres- see whatever whatever season it is that Jerry and George get their own show. I have not and the watched show that got much real. Seinfeld. I can't. I kind of don't Seinfeld. like it. So. It's one of my favorite shows, but I haven't really watched it a whole bunch. It's one of those where it's like, it's my favorite because I've only seen the series once or twice. Yeah, the the thing is, it's not, like, it's a show that works. Like, I can see why it would work for, um, like, when it came out. But you could never make Seinfeld today because people would attempt to binge watch it and then give up. Because it's not a show you can really binge watch. No, it's not. It gets boring very quickly. Okay. See, my favorite show. Ever I I want to get to the biologies too. So let's let's read through the uh, the chemistry. Yeah. Let's. Whoever reads fastest, go. It's not me. That would be. Is that is that me? Yeah, that's you. Because I'm okay. on my fir- I'm on my third B and L, and I read slow as fuck to begin with. One of the defining traits of the BJU chemistry program is the emphasis of le- on laboratory work. Oh, that's nice. But, <laughs> duh. I mean, it's, it's no, you could, chemistry. You, you could have, have, you have at least 50%, 50% of uh, 
average chemistry uh, degrees yeah. laboratory work. But at least uh, the fact that they're emphasizing, they could also be emphasizing theory. Yeah. Uh, from your freshman here, you'll use modern methods of chemical analysis to explore significant uh, concepts and principles of chemistry. Um, Study a wide variety of topics, such as the quantum theory of the atom, chemical equilibrium, and reaction mechanisms. Yeah, all of that is semester two stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, can I just point out that, like, so you'll be using modern methods of chemical analysis to explore significant concepts and principles of chemistry. Like, I'm going to hazard a guess and say that just like in, um, in like bio biochemistry and like molecular biology, like there are some older methods, mo older analysis methods, methodologies that are actually better for teaching you the principles. Yes. It's like, yes, they are. Actually, yeah. the, the laptop, we're sitting here. We're the laptop sitting here I'm teaching at the moment. Okay. The, laptop, the laptop I'm teaching at the moment is uh, dealing with the first semester beginners, right? Mm -hmm. And they learn how to actually prove that a certain element is in your test substance, for example. So um, basically, we give them vials with an unknown substance and they have to identify what it is to pass the course. By and smelling it. Obviously, <laughs> no, not, not by smelling it, but, but, you, but, you know, treating it chemically and seeing what happens and mm. then uh, deriving conclusions based out of that in a certain right, way, maybe like diagrams and shit. shit. Um, if, I, if I were to find out what, what's in there, uh, mm -hmm. I just plug the entire substance through an ion chromatograph and I would have my answer in 50 seconds. Yeah. Or why don't we do this? We just make somebody in our group drink it, they'll go to the hospital, and then the report will tell us what the <laughs> chemical was. And then we get an easy. <laughs> yes, well, all, well, you can't give you can't give um, you can't give A's to people who are dead. <laughs> yeah, but you can give A's to the rest of the group. Yeah. Who wants? To I figured out what it was. You didn't say I couldn't kill somebody to figure it out. Great, you passed <laughs> your class, and now you're in jail. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. There's no work around there. See, but we're all we're all actually pretending like they're gonna learn real science. We all they know that their fucking textbook is 100 pages, where it starts with the letter G, and then every other page is just filled with O's, and then on the last page there's a D because God did it. Oh. So wait, what? Old Testament literature and interpretation. I love what, that. What is, yeah. co what is composition, composition and rhetoric? What does that have well, to do? I think they're just saying, like, that's the outline for your first year. Like, for your first yeah, year. Yeah, but, like, like, what the fuck does that have to do with um, chemistry? Hey, that was a course. That was a course. That was a course that was required for my biology. I took I took care of that in my first semester. Jesus. Wait, what? Well, that's weird. That might be a, a U.S. thing. That is definitely a U.S. US thing because, understand. like, it 100% is a U.S. Thing. Like, like all like I stopped having courses that were irrelevant to my um, um to like biology when I entered university. I haven't had an irrelevant course since high school. Yeah, see, I, had, and... I had one, but I was interested in taking that, which is. Uh, God damn it, what was that? It was organocatalysis. Um, that is still fucking is... relevant to chemistry. Yeah, but not to the type of chemistry that I do. Yeah, okay. that's what I was going to say. Okay. I was going to ask okay. you if okay. you anything to do with your field. Okay, I have, I have had, like, ecology, like, uh, that, like, basics of ecology, which is irrelevant to me as a cell biologist, but, like, like it's still biology. <laughs> See, yeah, I was okay, gonna study enough. zoo. I was gonna study zoology, and I actually was. I took an ecology class just because it seemed fun. You know. Uh. Plus, it was actually it was still kind of relevant to my life. Never mind. I take that back. Understanding ecology would help me understand animals in the wild. So I guess that that's not really irrelevant in a way. Themes you know, of no Western for I want to know what themes of Western for it's a philosophy class. I 100% guarantee uh, selective philosophy of continuing importance in the Western thought. Oh, yeah, so 
Oh. Philosophy. I was hoping it must be something like vaguely racist. (laughs) (laughs) Making of the modern world. It starts in 1776. (laughs) Look at it. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh my god. This goes for his on the project of historical thinking from a biblical perspective. Oh, oh, oh. Pastor brings up a good point. Do they teach their students evolution? Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's actually biology and take a look. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, she she posed that, and I was gonna interject and say biology. That, but, uh, oh, subology. Oh. Hey, look at that. Ah, let's see causes. Because yes, biology, evolution, of biology is a, like is a like that's a cause in and of itself. No matter where in the world you are, so. Uh... Dude, what the fuck is pathways? Yeah, I oh, thought it was like pathways they're... and like, I guess that doesn't make sense for chemistry either. That only makes sense for biochemistry. Well, I guess it sort of makes sense for chemistry. You have pathways, but like not in the same like, like it's a word in chemistry, but it's not like, a, like a central thing like it is in biochem. Welcome to the party, Woden. We are looking at Bob Jones University. He just. They just uh, appeared. A pathway is a way to move between two spaces. <laughs> also known as BJU. <laughs> yeah, also known as BJU. This seems to just be like a, like an intro course. Yeah, it's sort of just like a like an orientation. Okay, this is biomechanics. I go to semester two or three. No, no, uh, no, because we are on biomechanics. So- then oh, wait, zoo, cell biology. Uh, zoo, zoo and wildlife biology would probably be more likely to have Christianity in the arts. That's a mandatory class. Essential cell biology. Organism wow, you don't, biology you don't take the essentials till second that was, year? Jesus Christ. Yeah, oh, evolution organs. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Ah, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not reading this. Let's read this. This is fine. Yes, Ansel, it's orientation, but a full course. But the orientation is um, Christianity. Yeah, it's a full yeah. semester of orientation. Gio reads this. He's the only one who who hasn't had um, any kind of biology, uh, biology education. Philosophical and biology, biological evaluation of the theories of evolution, the intelligent design movement, and special uh, creation. Fuck my life. Do I really need to continue? Yes, no, please that, do. Uh, okay. okay so I'm stuck mid-vomit. You can't leave me mid-vomit. <laughs> Topics include natural selection, genetic drift, adaptation, genetic variation, speciation, macroevolution, geological timescale, historic <laughs> Adam, and the beginning of life. Oh my god. One of these things is not <laughs> like the other. One of these things <laughs> is not the same. Well, I guess... The technical it... implications of each theory are discussed and a creationary model of the diversity of life is explored. Be right back. I need to go vomit. My god. You know, there are so many... You know, I was sitting... We had a, a Christian girl that... Uh, was in my third, I think in the, my third semester of biology, I had this Christian girl that was in our class and she asked our professor if we were going to learn uh, things from the Bible. And he was like, no. And she just got up and walked out. And I never saw her again. Good. Good. And I was like, wow. They, uh, you know, I did not think in an actual, like, college setting I was going to run across one of these people. Oh, oh, um, a pastor has uh, has one had one in her. Cl- if I remember correctly, she had one in her class who was like, I can't remember. She probably can probably correct me. I think they had someone who was like, like, like a, like an anti vaxxer Like I know it's an like an art thing, but like he was still like a vehement anti vaxxer If I remember correctly, I want to see. I didn't realize they had. Um, I remember think. Okay, I want to go back to the chemistry because I see, honestly, because I didn't realize they had like specialization, so we were only looking at one of them. 
Okay. Oh my god, Woden just said something that literally hurt my brain. I took a class that was an attempt to be feminism in the Bible. Holy oh. fucking shit. Wow. We literally had a conversation earlier about that. That and... must have been a pretty short course. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> one is what <laughs> one it's... sentence. No, no, it's 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 um it's uh it's just like like it's a full semester, but in every class it's just a person saying no. No, no, over <laughs> again. Like, like each day, he each session he reads through a cup. He looks through. You read through a couple of um of pages in the Bible, and he just says, "Nope, nope, not here either. Nope, nope." Well, dude, the only feminist oh, okay. in the There's Bible that I can here. think of was turned into a pillar pillar of salt for being defiant. So the only feminist in the Bible was punished. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Christians are supposed to tell you about one. that one. The son of Solomon. Uh, the, the, one the, the son of Solomon kind of like is like, like, like there isn't or you know, overt sexism in it, in it. It's more it and it actually sort of acknowledges. Like I'm being really generous here, but like it sort of acknowledges um, the um, like 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 that women have a sexuality. That's kind of the closest you get. Wow. Okay, so chemistry apparently didn't have any um, like specializations, but I want to see, see the. Well, no, that's. Oh, hold on. That's I want to know before we so do for, that for the people who want to know who are curious. I specialized in uh, catalysis, and I specialized in uh, chemical engineering, uh, especially reactor design. Let's see my specialization, cell biology. My uncle lives in a cell on six <laughs> times six feet every day. He keeps on reading the same boring old newspapers. <laughs> oh, I guess we didn't. <laughs> He's in jail. Wait, what? Oh my God, they have a cancer research lab. <laughs> cancer research lab, a summer research research emission for undergrads program is offered for students allowing them unparalleled opportunity to prove their skills as a researcher while still undergraduates as part of the research team you will collaborate on experiments testing the answer cancer properties of ver ver and variety of substances on three types of cancers <laughs> In addition, you wow. will get experience in writing and applying for research. Free types. Oh no. Well, yes. Ah, yes. The free types of cancer. <laughs> Don't. Here's, the, I here's really... the three types of cancer. There is uh, cancer, uh, cancer, and also, in case you didn't hear me the first two times. Well, no. Cancer. But, like, cancer is a, like, like, I must, I'm gonna I'm gonna be generous here and give them the benefit of the doubt and say that it's free so it's a free cancer types that are really really different yes because, I was hoping that that's because what we're going. otherwise it's really pointless because well the, the way that they worded it, it makes it sound like so vague and so generic yeah yeah that's what I mean that's why I laugh because like on free types of cancer cells like even within like a single origin of where like like what tissue the cell the can the cancer cells are originated from, there's like like there's like I can't, a few dozen at least, right? Like yeah. yeah, like like there's a lot. Like you and they own like I mean technically each and even within each like cancer type we each subtype of each cancer type, there are variations. That's why you do in modern cancer and treatments you do um, you do genetic testing. Like my dad, for example, his brain tumors was has been tested for um, has been tested for if it had specific mutations that makes it vulnerable to the chemotherapy he, he received. That's how this works. Wow. That's, that's how also, sad, sorry to hear that about your dad, dude. That sucks. Oh, he's he's doing fine, I guess. 
I didn't realize. Well, you. I become so accustomed to it. I didn't even realize that it's it's uh, that I like probably haven't said. Uh, yeah, my brain, my my brain has that cancer. Great, great job, my <laughs> Great job. My brain. My well, shit. I've known you for six years, and I, I've never heard you talk about it. Well, nah, I. But then again, most of our, to be fair, most of our conversations have been about very strange world music. Yeah. So I mean. There really hasn't been enough time to be like. Oh, no. So I have five brothers and six sisters. Oh no, yeah, you? no. My my dad has a <laughs> my dad has a. Um, so let's bring the mood down. Yeah, no, my dad has a um, has a gly- uh, an astrocyte um, for the last well year now. Um, but it's a year since he was. He, it's a year a bit since he he got it removed. But no, he has an ast- an, uh, an astrocyte derived glioma. And okay, so that's still that's not not scary, you know. Oh yeah, no, but I've like it's been a year now. I've come to terms with it. Also, it's really, really like is so okay. Weird diversion here, but it's really weird to be a person who knows a lot about cancer. Yeah, that's, and ha- that's what I was going to And point having a, a, like, a, having a, like, I have sit, sat down and read, like, when he got, uh, the, like, some of the test results back on, like, when they done genetic screenings on his, uh, on his, uh, on the, like, the tumor they removed. Yeah. Like, he sent it to me and, like, had me read through it. And, like, it's so hard, like, because they have to say, like, I am not a doctor. I am not... A doctor, right? <laughs> like, like, I was at one of the. Um, I was went with them to one of the um, to the like doctors meeting they had me and like yeah um him and my mom um where um where he talked about like where like they talked about those genetic things because my dad like specifically because my dad wanted me there. But, like, and, like, at some point, I just, <laughs> it's so funny, like, because my dad, my parents had obviously heard, like, as anyone who gets diagnosed with cancer, they hear a lot of, like, well, well-meaning people who offer them really stupid advice. Yeah. Um, and so, and when they first introduced me, like, when we went in and met the doctor, a really, ni- really cool doctor, really nice doctor, and uh, also does a bit of research, if you understand correctly. Um, like, she, like, when they were introduced, they, like, they told, I, I kept my mouth shut, like, the, the, I wasn't this point of attention, um, they told, like, what I did, and that I have a bit of cancer, not, like, cancer biology knowledge, I say a bit, that's unfair, <laughs> um, yeah, they oversold your credentials, <laughs> No, no, they no. It was they, a joke. It was a joke. Yeah, yeah you're, you're perfectly qualified. I yeah, know, I know. no. So, but like at some point, they like they mentioned vitamin C, and the cancer doctor just turned to me and, and like laughed and said, "Like, what does what does like what does the sun say?" I was like, "Uh oh, uh, no, it it doesn't work." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm really glad that you were there to, to clear that old kerfuff up. <laughs> I'm sorry to bring the mood so sound down and serious, but like... Uh. No, it's actually good to hear you talk about it in such a way because then it doesn't seem like... You, if you're not worried about it, I'm, everybody else should just chill Okay, out, fun know? fact about me, I have a really weird relationship with death. So, um... Like, the concept of death doesn't scare me, and the concept of other people dying doesn't scare me. It's really weird, and, like, it makes me seem like a psychopath. No, I kind of actually feel the same way. The, the, the concept, the idea of death doesn't scare me, but the actual, the, the, uh, the act of dying. Hold on. Like, hold on. Someone please read me this for me, because this makes no fucking sense. I'm gonna read Analy- it. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Analyze how cells function internally and in social contexts. What? Whoa! <laughs> when it, like, I'm assuming they mean like, like, like how they how function. they would discuss it with other people, I guess. 
No, how they interact with one another, I guess. Yeah, I think that's what they mean. But that's oh, not okay, fucking... but it's still worded very strangely. That is really weird. Yeah, that is particularly confusing. That uh, is a really stupid phrase. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Why the fuck don't... Why do you not get... Why do you... Why is genetics a fourth year? You would think that that would be like the first or second year thing. That first is... year, definitely first year. Maybe not... Like, yeah, but it's definitely not fourth year. Well, my first genetics course was actually in my second year. Like, my first actual course that, like, focused specifically on genetics. I like I like the joke Woden uh, just made in the in the <laughs> in the chat. Phagocytosis. In response to Jello, Jelly, <laughs> what do cells do at dinner part at dinner parties? Phagocytosis. Oh, I get it. Okay. Essential of organic chemistry. That also feels third semester all the third year also feels really late to get essentials of organic chemistry. That feels like something you, sh as a biologist, especially a cell biologist, it's something you should get on the um, on the first or second year. I think I had it on. I think I had it on for my first year. Um, just because you need it as a. Um, you need it to understand biochemistry because you can't understand cell biology without at least having some kind of uh, biochemical. Bio yeah, but how many biblical doctrine classes did you have to take? <laughs> Is the real question. No, did nobody else see that? No, yeah, no, no. It's funny. I was distracted by the chat because. Um... Okay, hold on. Walton had. A doctor called Dr. Swan with two N's. Wow. Hold on. Is is the guy still alive? Oh, okay, that's oh okay Swan. that's that's still that's spelled the German way. Um yeah. I was like for a moment, wait. I could have Actually, swore... it's not it's not micro. Hmm? It's not it's not the German way. Well, it sort of is. It's the more like German way. It looks way. like the way that Germans would spell it. To somebody who doesn't speak German, it looks like the yes. way Germans would spell it. It's also pronounced Schwan. I know. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> but like, no. So like, what I was like, hold on. Oh, she. Yeah, that's that makes more sense because. Wait, hold. Like, okay, now I'm confused. I need to know because I'm pretty sure Doctor Schwan. The guy sw Swan sells uh, Swan Swan whatever the fucking call him and sells and uh, a named after is dead. So for a moment, because it, it like it looked similar, I was like, "Hold on, are they? Is that that person? Because that person, I'm sure, it was dead. Also, a really big thing. Also, for those who don't know, Swan sells um, Swan whatever you want to pronounce it." That are the cells that provide um, the myelination of uh, peripheral nervous system. It's, it's the thing that it's the cell that like l like encapsulates your um, your nerve cells outside of your brain and spinal column. And when you uh, the reason why when you get some kind of cut. And that cuts a nerve. That nerve can go back because those cells, unlike the, um, unlike the cells in your central nervous system that does the myelination, which dies when, uh, like, they don't like, they don't die, but like they they stop being there. Um, like you can't follow them back in the peripheral nervous system. Um, the swan cells stay there, so you can like this the. the Nerve cell can grow back and follow them like a path, like a trail of breadcrumbs. Okay, real quick. Whoa, 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 don't change, don't change screens yet. What in the fuck is he holding in his hand? Is that a snake? No, that That's is a uh, Gila monster. 
Okay, I can't really tell because of that blue box. These things. Oh, okay. Gotcha. One of the nope, few uh, um, venomous uh, reptiles. Well, not venomous uh, lizards. It, like, it makes uh, sense because they're in right. South Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> yep. In, in Carolina, they are the equivalent to our Danish laser raccoons. <laughs> Healer monsters are really, are... yeah. I'm not sure why they're swapping the the healer monster. That seems a bit strange, and and like this guy looks way too excited about like, oh, I'm gonna be next. I'm gonna be next. I wanna That's swap not... the lesson. What he's thinking is that looks fucking delicious. Why? I why? think I'm gonna fuck that later. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. I need. Sorry, it's the American South. I just have to assume that everybody. Oh look at, look at them. They're so <laughs> chunkers. They're like. <laughs> oh, uh, since oh. you're already googling for reptiles, uh, Micro, can you please search for the Arabian sand boa? <laughs> I know. <laughs> they look so stupid. It uh, looks like a sock puppet. <laughs> I mean, just look at the first picture on the top left. <laughs> Holy shit, it does. It does look like a puppet. I assume they have the eyes on the top of their head so that they can bury themselves. Yes, in the land. that is that is why. <laughs> yeah, it really looks like someone made, made like God made up. <laughs> they're, they're, they're so dumb looking that they're cute. I kind of like them. Yeah, I would totally have one as a pet. And by, by the way, Aqua Pasta, um, that's not a dildo, that's a dildo. Don't. <laughs> I'm Dr. Mike Gray, and I'm chairman of the biology oh. department at Bob Jones University. We believe that our program is unmatched in. Christian higher education. That's Stop. not saying much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, what the fuck is this auditorium? <laughs> I had no idea. I was going to ask the same thing. What That's the like fuck saying, is I'm, that? I'm, the, I'm the best student in special ed education. The package that. Why is the periodic table in a biological class? That's because they can only afford we one lecture hall. Of curriculum, <laughs> yeah, the faculty, combined girls. with a wholehearted endorsement of the Christian faith, we, we want them to move out and serve Christ to follow him. So many MacBooks. In confidence. <laughs> so you can expect as a freshman entering our, our program, rigorous exploration of the foundational principles. So our old professors have been we like have an intentional, old white integrated oh, no, that's a woman. moving to a level of sophistication in their understanding that will stand moving to a level so of bored. Well to be fair, that's I've looked at that in lectures. Um same here. No. Um they're um, like he just said Moving to a level of sophistication. In good stead, regardless of what their specialization is in biology <laughs> later. We have a track called the Cell Biology Track. And we have... That is some ancient fucking microscopes. <laughs> track From like the fucking... For, uh, oh! Folks who are more... Oh! They have our, um... They have animal our... torture chambers. No, no, they have terrariums with, uh, oriented with toward, like, uh, different animals. reptiles. And it's called Zoo and Wildlife Biology. That's uh, cool. To move toward understanding okay, yeah, cool. well, is trying to be a far different about goal it, than cool. is embraced in most of education. So the focus <laughs> is... Is he on lithium? Why is he... He sounds so boring. Yeah, yeah Michael, like any, any idea what he's drawn there on the on the table? Right, not table, blackboard, whiteboard. Uh, can you still see this? Endoplasm uh, yeah. particulum... Yeah. When I'm receptor, full screening it. I look like ion pumps. Uh, I can't read it. Judging from what he has here, it's something like what he has on the actual overhead is the IP3 pathway. Yeah. Using um, like it's a it's a recept it's a calcium 
triggered receptor, which is fairly normal. I f- yeah, that, that yeah, PKC. Cal- it's some Dude, kind of cal. He just drew. He just drew what's on the fucking uh the the the, the pull yeah down I think he did projection board on the whiteboard. He did not change anything. It's the same. Well, I mean, he probably changed his wording, but it's like the same. It's just a repeat. It's the same shit. I love how this class is just a bunch of people with MacBooks and a teacher oh, that is just... Oh, no, I know what it is. Because it has egg activation and this says the developmental biology. biology. It is... Uh, it, it's something... Yeah, no, it's it's the... Oh, I should have just fucking read his headline. I'm an idiot. No, it's the... Um, uh, yeah. When they're... Um, when you have fertilization... Um, part of that process involves a calcium influx um, to activate some st- uh, some stuff, so do some stuff. So d- uh, and it d- that it does follow that um, that IP uh, that PIP two and uh, uh, PIP three pathway that he's showing. I was so worried. I was so bothered with trying to match up his his illustration with the be illustration on the working projection in the realm of ideas. The term for that is conceptual learning. And we found that the best way why to uh, this, move those this, ideas into the student's understanding is... Why are they so old? Just, are, they, are, they, are they eating right next to their microscope? Just no, don't? no, no. It's it's dirt samples. Just to interact with the student Hopefully. and find out... It's a, st- it's a stereoscope um, oh, that she's sitting with. And respond to their thinking. In yeah, I'm more worried about the calculator that's turned off. I'm more worried about why they're, why they're, um, why they're... Does the heating in that building not work? They make their, their thinking more precise. They are all wearing sweaters. The way we have to that move a, toward that is some old is not chairs. simply theoretical. Those chairs but we're really do not fit at the, in the rest learning. of the... Uh, well, thinking like a biologist means exploring problems from the standpoint of the scientific method. That's that's not just biologists. That's science. <laughs> Bob Jones' class is eating dirt. Designing <laughs> experiments, and then the the real world rub of actually conducting oh, yeah, those experiments, and all of those things happen in lab, and they go through that <laughs> process repetitively, starting in their very first semester and moving to some very high. Why would they? Hold on, hold on. Why are they cooking things in cans? <laughs> Like hobos. <laughs> what the fuck is the beans? Beans? <laughs> Joey, today in biology, making a chicken dinner. <laughs> Yo, please tell me that's not an actual thing. Wait, hey, Woden said go back. I think he's what? talking about the sleep apnea shit. Can you repeat the last sentence, Mikey, or are you just... Just uh, look at the sandwich. Why did... Why are they... <laughs> Everything went into the snake budget. <laughs> You're right. Why did... Oh, Woden said that he was holding a test tube over an open flame with his hand. Oh, yes, he was. Yeah. Yeah. In the very first semester. Right here. Oh, no, wait. I think very high level. Oh, did I skip it? In the very first semester. I think it was further in back. In terms of designing experience. God, look at this. This, this, uh, the, like, can you, out, and can then, you even uh, look at the leaf under a microscope like that? Yes, or yeah. It's a, stere- it? it's a stereo microscope. It's not like a, com- it's not a combite microscope. You don't need to shine light through it. It's just like a glorified magnifying glass. Okay, got it. Also, they're cutting up something. The real world rub of actually conducting those experiments, and all of those things happen in lab, and they go through yeah. that process repetitively. Oh my so- god! He literally was. Ah. Oh. What a fucking idiot! What is he doing there? I can't see it really. He's holding a test tube in his hand. Over and over, over and over while wearing latex gloves. Okay, yeah, that is a bad idea. Yeah, all around. No, no part of that is a good idea. Like, at least have night. If you're gonna do that, at least have nitrile gloves. This repetitively, starting in their very first semester and moving to some very high level. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, nano drubber. Kinds of experiments by the time they're in their senior semester and working, okay. say, in the cancer Golf research pipettes. lab work. Hey, look, they have real work. equipment. And so the net result is the that lab looked like no, like no lab I've ever did been you, in. Did you see the strange chromatography column? Yeah, yeah, I was about to ask. What? I, yeah, I, I didn't get a good look of it, but I feel like that is probably not. That is probably a biotechnology or biology specific for uh, uh, column. Could be. It, well, it, it doesn't look like the ones we use, and even so if you did one, um, where stop. I'm not done. Where are the vials under it? <laughs> well, she just moved them to him. If you look at the whole clip, she, she, uh, when he walks over there, she pushes them to him. Does anybody else feel like the, 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 no, she no, no, puts... no, 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 no. For a column like this, you need about, I'd, I'd say about a set of 120 milliliter vials. If this is comparable to what, what I, I column. well, I don't know is the student Wait. has stimulating experience that keeps him or her moving forward that is some old... anybody else sorry but that that the fact that, that thing is green means that it's old as equipment because every fucking single piece of laboratory equipment these days is this looks exactly the same it's a it's a like light gray and made uh, with some gr uh, dark gray patches and bl uh, a blue um blue writing for the name that is how That's all okay, okay. No. that is how 95 percent of all all laboratory equipment look, uh, like the machines okay, that that sounds that sounds fair enough uh, i recently bought a new syringe pump which is completely red and by the, okay, by the sure, way, uh, like, shout out to Parafilm, which is definitely the best type yes. of ceiling film there is. I, I The fact that Parafilm, uh, Parafilm hasn't made a fucking commercially available version is a fucking crime. That, that what, should... what do you mean? You can buy it on Amazon. Sure, but like, I can't, like, the fact that they haven't, like, at, like gone, like, like, straight up, like, fuck it, we're gonna, like, sell it in supermarkets. I want, like, I, like... You want one just for the kitchen, is what you're saying? Yeah, it is. It will be perfect for a kitchen. <laughs> no, yeah, seriously. I actually about, don't disagree with that. I was recently thinking about buying a steering uh, and heating plate for a kitchen. Because yeah. It would mean auto automatic uh, soup heating without me having to worry about burning it. Yeah. It's the same for 500 years, though. Yeah. La lab equipment is basically just like upgraded cooking equipment. <laughs> the higher levels of attainment. We have an unusual. Hold on. Okay, she was wearing gloves. For a moment, I was. We worried. have an unusual Does team. Feel like the lab footage is like stock footage. Yeah, it is. It okay. very much is because a real lab would be way, way more like, like you can. There's like subtle little things where you can tell that it's a real lab. The reason what does why. What on her laptop? <laughs> There was there was a, a written like company ADD. name or something on her lab code. ADD. You were able to I've read seen that? it on a few other labs. We have oh, no, no, no. on one of the new lab codes in the beginning. Uh, the higher levels. Of yeah, that's probably the company that sponsors uh, sponsored the lab codes or made them. Yeah, usually that's the case. Well, not made them. Usually, no, usually uh, no, 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 Woden. That has not been a single person of color in these videos. At least not prominently. There was one, there was a couple, but like, none of them have like, done anything. That's not true, Micro. White is also a color. <laughs> In fact, okay. <laughs> weird, weird tangent here. But like, black and white are really, really terrible names for the, like, it's light brown and really dark brown. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. You can, you, to be honest, you can tell which like, kind of lab it is by the fact that the lab code is still clean. Yep. That it's and, clean. I mean, they are interspersing it with probably real footage from the classrooms. No, there yeah, this is, but times. like, like, like the idea that these like labs, like in a real lab, there would be like inside that um, fume hood. There would be, um, first of all, there would be a chair in front of the fume hood. I don't know, like, why, where's the chair? Is she gonna stand there awkwardly? 
It's also not, yeah, not just the gen standard chair. It's one of it's one of those height variable stools which like punch you in the balls if you sit on them wrong. Yes, but no, in in an actual in an actual um like in a lab that isn't just used for teaching, there is, there would be like a um, a big cylinder, like not a cylinder, a big flask. Uh, that full of like, like cleaning fluid or uh, uh, clean. I'm not sure how to phrase uh, it. you mean uh, what's it called? Uh, not safe attack. Saran wrap. No. No. Um. What alone is is what alone a thing in in other places. So ba basically, like in a in an actual like cell lab, for example, like what well, uh, why I have been in, you have a big like um. You have a big container where you put all the stuff that you um, like contaminated stuff in that has like it's a, it's water with something in it that is uh, uh, like like it's a cleaning fluid like it's a soap. I'm not sure what oh, okay. alone actually is, but like you would have stuff in there. What I'm saying is you would have signs of other people working there. It wouldn't be squeaky clean like it is here. Also. Yeah. But you also, always notice that the lab is being used when it's dirty. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Like the lab coats, like you notice that the lab. Oh, yeah. You can like it's not that the lab is like you shouldn't use it. It's dirty and contamination. But like you can tell that it's been used, and you can tell that these labs haven't been. My lab coat is fifty percent holes. <laughs> My the, the, actually, I I. I to, be, to clarify, I actually have three lab coats for the three different labs. Mm. Um, because, you know, when I work on the glove box, for example, I don't want to contaminate the common gloves. I would uh, always my, have... You know, um, the chemical stuff on my sleeves. I would always have two lab coats. One for um, one for the cell, uh, cell labs and one for the um, uh, microbiology labs. Because we use, in cell biology, you still use bacteria, like E. coli. Uh, to make like plasmids because they just reproduce faster. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really jealous though of this thing. Can you see my cursor? Yeah, looks like a pistol. Is that the pistol thing we talked about once? It is. It is a. Um, it is a, a a vacuum pipette. It's battery charged. It will like when you click on it, it sucks. Like it, like it's a little motor inside it that sucks up. You have these really like really big glass tubes. That are like, uh, they're like, they can hold up to 25 milliliters and they're like the biggest version. And they're, um, yeah, Woden is correct. Used labs are cluttered, not dirty. That's the good way of putting it. Um, but they're like, yeah. I don't know, f like 30 centimeters long. Um, these big glass tubes, uh, sterile glass tube that you put into it and then you can sew it up. I'm really jealous of the fact that they have them like, with a magnet sticking to the wall, that seems that's really useful because those things just take up space. It's we have an unusual idea. team of faculty. All of these men and women have specialties that they're teaching in, and they're all here because they embrace the vision that we have for teaching with understanding. Perverting science. Understanding teaching students to think critically and biblically. <laughs> teaching students to think critically and biblically. Yeah, that's an oxymoron. Yeah, yes. that's, yeah that's what I was going to say. They've chosen to be at Bob Jones University primarily because of their love. <laughs> because their parents told them to. For teaching yeah, they Christian Christ. students. I love Jesus, but I also want to cut rabbits. It's being in a place where... What the fuck are those? I don't know those... Please tell me that's not that. that. That can't be the lockers. No, that's not lockers. It's uh, basically just um, like a curio so cap. All uniform. Yeah, oh, trying okay. to prepare the next generation to know and love. Oh, yes, I look important walking down the Those hallway the at my school in my lab. Coat. Biology at Bob Jones University. B roll. The movie. So at which point <laughs> in the anatomy aut autopsy do you stop to face Mecca? That's a funny one. Oh, it's that we are actually ten minutes past. I didn't realize that. So. <laughs>
Yeah, there really isn't like a stern, like a like a rigid stopping point. We're just sort of. I mean, sort we of can keep going if people point. want to. I mean, I got to get going here in about ten minutes. I got to leave for work, so yeah, I got at least ten more minutes. Let's let okay. Let's do five seven then. Okay, right, so. Go about, do we maybe find a Q&A somewhere? Because that would be fucking hilarious. Uh, oh, like an FAQ or something? I don't think so. Scroll all the way down, maybe. Yeah, request. Oh, no. No, it doesn't seem like to be. Maybe a... contact us. Usually FAQs are in contact us. Because mm -hmm. they'll cover like... Uh, is there a contact us? Right, yeah, right there. Oh, there. All the way up. Literally huge no, no, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I found something. What does it say about parents on the top? Uh... <laughs> oh. No, I, I wanted to read their mission statement. <laughs> because this this is where I got to yeah, go. Yeah, we, we all know what that entails. That's the statement of faith. Creed. We believe in the inspiration of the Bible. Both the Old and the New Testament. Yeah. What they're saying. What that they're is saying the Bible. Is whenever, whenever science contradicts our preconceived notion, <laughs> we toss science aside. Yes. The creation of man by, by the direct act of God. The, cre yeah, goes the most incarnation most and virgin analogy. birth on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. His identification as the Son of God. His Re vicarations? Vi vi vicar oh, vicarious, I can't read. Vicarious atonement yeah. for the sins of mankind by shedding his, his blood on the cross, the resurrection of his body from the tomb, his power to save man from sin, the new birth through the regeneration of the Holy Spirit. Wait, what? Wait, wait, the regeneration of the Holy Spirit? I've never heard that. It's a, it, you know, it's a hidden buff, bro. I mean, you got to be at least past level 10 before you get that. Um, and the gift of eternal life by the grace of God. Our creed highlights core doctrines on United, but does not include more specific issues. <laughs> oh, my God. positions on some issues are in. Oh, 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 we're reading those. Well, they unite us. Our creed unites us unless you're black or gay. Marriage yeah, and right. human Pumped sexuality. Pumped oh, God. Smelly, would you care to read? Yes, the Institute of Marriage, or excuse me, the Institution of Marriage has been valued no, by no, every culture. No, no, but is correct. Warden is correct. You need to read it like a televangelist. The institution of marriage has been valued by every culture and society throughout human history. Bob Perfect. Jones University believes marriage is an institution ordained amen. by God amen. and prescribed by Scripture. Can I get an amen? Amen. To be to be monogamous relation. Well, excuse me. To be a monogamous relationship between a man and a woman, physically created in these respective genders by God. We believe God. Oh my God. Intended heterosexual marriage to be an enduring covenant relationship established before himself and man to the to propagate, excuse me, to propagate the human race. Can I get another amen? Amen. <laughs> Lovingly, oh, you, want another, healthy you, relationship. You, want, you want another man? <laughs> Do I want another? I want, I want a man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Smelly, you missed your calling. Yeah, I know. I could have totally done this and been at least half as charismatic as Jim Jones. Uh, Why is that? <laughs> Why is that the... Oh, never mind. We keep reading. <laughs> you know why I went there. Because yeah. it's funny. Yeah. Uh, lovingly express healthy, rational, and sexual intimacy in the picture of the covenant relationship. He, with a capital H meaning God, has with all genuine believers. All I did was channel, uh, what's his name? Kenneth Copeland. That's how he. Oh, oh, 
God created oh man God. Wim, and, and man and woman in his image. No, he only can only create one of them in his image. Yeah, does that mean that God has a vagina and a <laughs> yeah, penis? Like, does he have a dingus and boobies? Oh, neither. Is God transsexual? <gasps> transsexual. God's a hermaphrodite. Well, intersex. Yeah, okay, intersex. Hermaphrodite and intersex. I'm sorry, I don't actually Transgender Jesus. <laughs> Transgender Jesus. In his image, oh. it's two distinct but equal gen. <laughs> but which he intended to use for his glory. That's so he created us purely for his selfish interest. Uh, it sounds like he created a sex doll. Furthermore, individual genders is, uh, is a sign. Individual. Okay, wait. Furthermore, individual gender is a sign that I feel like it should be individual genders are assigned by God. Yeah. Because you just pointed out that there were at least two. Like, well, there are two in your group of the world. And the term, termed at conception. Um, no. You can't, like, you can tell sex at the conception. At least somewhat. I mean, sex is also bimodal, but, like, it's, it's a little easier to, to at least, like, determine carrier type, like, uh, <laughs> genetic sex. But, like, no, you can't determine gender at conception. Therefore, we believe that to <laughs> intentionally alter or change one's physical gender or to live as a gender other than the one assigned as a con at conception. Assigned at conception. No one assigns their gender at conceptions. Because people don't, people generally don't realize they're pregnant at conception, and would have no, no yeah, way no, of no, knowing. No, excuse me, micro. I know that if I scream Susan B. Anthony at the time that I nut, it's gonna be a girl. <laughs> Fuck sake. <laughs> at conception, That's how you assign is to a reject God's God's right as a oh, God, he has rights to assign gender to his creation. And it's a Wait a second. If, if they think that God has rights, then obviously women can't be made in his image. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, it's his right. <laughs> it's his right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's a, I know. A good joke. Like, nice isn't a good joke. Nice. nice no, nice, I know. Nice, like, no, I just want to <laughs> point out because the internet exists. Uh, yes, his it creatures does. And his creatures. Not creations, his creatures. And it's a personal rejection of his plan to glorify himself through the original gender he assigned. God sound just sounds like an like a really like a jerk. Like they're really making God sound like he's just a huge asshole who wants wants to micromanage everything. Honestly, if also you, you need to go, way, uh, Smelly. Huh? It's Ted Well, let me make this one point. Let me make this one point, and then I do have to leave you, yes. German. But and we they're making it that. sound as if uh, transgender individuals, uh, folks who believe that they were born the wrong gender, uh, or whatever their personal reasons for it are, um, it makes it sound like that actually could be a result of God's ineptitude. Like he's just throwing things in bodies and sending them down to earth. Just bam, bam, bam. Boy, girl, boy, girl, don't care. So, um, maybe transgendered individuals are actually a creation of God. Blows a hole in their bullshit. Yeah. A bad hole, but it, it, it does exist. Plot hole for plot hole's sake. The bad, the bad hole just sounds like what, what a preacher would call the actually, plot I, hole. <laughs> it's a plot hole. <laughs> it's a bad hole. <laughs> Anyways, but here, it's but been anyway, over uh, two hours. Smelly has to go. We're ending. Yeah, and this bigoted bullshit is about to piss me off. Yes. Anyway. But uh, I love all of you. I hope everyone has a great day. Uh, Geo, Micro, I will talk to you gentlemen later. Yeah. Bye, guys, in the chat. <laughs>